Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at farming from the Creation Club. Uh, basically this is a mod or a Creation Club mod that allows you to build your own farmstead. So uh, what you're going to want to do is come here to Rorikstead. I'll show you on the map where we're at. Right here. It's right in between Markarth and this little monument here. Morthal's up here. So right here at Rorikstead, this little town. You're going to want to go here and then you're going to want to go to this little icon on your map up here. And I'm not going to show you guys like how to set up your farm or anything like that because it's pretty straightforward. But what I'm going to do is show you how to obtain the farm. So just be aware of that. That's uh, how you set up your farms all on you. Right here's Golden Hills Plantation. No one hides from the dead. Kill this ghost. Alright. Now we've started the quest. I'm going to go into my quest log. Make sure it's the only quest that's marked down. Okay, cool. So now we have to figure out more of what we're doing. So apparently this guy here was poisoned by someone. And that's why he attacked us. So you're going to want to go on into the plantation. Alright. Now we are inside. I'm going to go up here to the bedroom. And read this journal right here. Alright. Now we have to find the hidden laboratory. Basically what that journal says is that his wife is being strange or was being strange. And he was investigating into it and trying to figure out why she would be that way. Come on down here. Press this little button on the wall here. And you found the hidden laboratory. There she is. You have to kill her a ghost. After you kill her a ghost, you can go ahead and find her journal wherever it's at. Here it is. Okay. And basically, that basically says that uh, she was growing quite scared of her husband because he was acting strange and they were worried about their son. Well, now we have to kind of find what happened to the sun. Here is his journal. Read it. And basically what it says is that he's tired of his mom and dad fighting all the time because they each think that each other are evil in some way and that he's going to join with the Imperial Legion. Alright, so now that you've done that, we have to find the boy's body or have to find the boy rather and that is going to be next to the monument up here also this is a horse armor from creation club it's quite nice I actually really like it I understand that uh, some people might not but I really do like it thought it was a neat little addition Especially on the uh, the better horses or the uh, the wild horses. So basically, what we got to do is find the well, and I can't remember exactly where it's at. So let's find it. Here it is. Okay. I knew it wasn't too far. That's why I didn't care to just roam around until we found it. There will be wolves up here. Kill it. And then there's a child skeleton. Take your gold. Take his toy sword. And head on back to the farm. 
I don't know where my horse went. I'm not worried about it. Here's all the spots you'll have to plant things. Uh, and I actually suggest instead of planting normal crops, I suggest planting alchemy ingredients. Because you'll be able to make more gold that way. You'll be able to make potions and make more gold that way. Alright, so you're going to want to go ahead and place that there. Talk to Rin. Need something? Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. And bam. You now own the farm. And you can actually hire a steward. Uh, you can hire a steward. You can hire farm hands. You can do a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like how the mechanics work here. Just in case you haven't ever seen it. I'm going to go ahead and plant some glowing mushroom and blister wart. Let's go ahead and plant this stuff. You're going to want to plant five of each. Uh, if you're going to do this to get smithing potions, just plant five of each. Uh, you don't have to do that though. You can plant really anything that you want to plant in this uh, that will allow you to plant it. So like any mushrooms, any sort of berries, anything like that. Uh, and yeah, it basically allows you to it allows you to start your own little farm. And it's super, super neat too, like how insane is it that this many years after the game's released we're getting things like farming mechanics added to the game. Which I know this is basically just the Hearthfire mechanics, but it's really, really nice. Uh, we gotta hire a steward for the plantation, a steward. So what we're doing here is uh, we're picking up Lydia. She should be my steward here. So honor to you, my Thane. I'm wanting her to follow me. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the farm. All right, now that we're here at the farm, talk to Lydia, who has magically changed armor since I had her as a follower before. I've got your back. And then say this right here. I'm looking for a, a steward for my plantation. Are you interested? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. All right, now all you need to do is hire farmhands. Do it at once. Okay. And now, you just got to ask for certain things, like whatever you need for your plantation or your farm. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do all this stuff, but you guys go can. Uh, go ahead and you can come over here and build things like a stable, a farm bunkhouse, uh, a blacksmith workshop. But uh, yeah. That's how you get your farm started on Skyrim on the Anniversary Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.